Rather than raging, being really upset about Deep Blue, IBM's famous machine for your loss, why do you marvel at the capabilities at the time of the computer and the possible exciting future collaborations? Most people, Meg and Gary, would be pissed off, but you saw something different at the time. Well, first of all, um, I won the first match and lost the second one. So, <laughs> it was a tie. So I never ran away. <laughs> so, uh, um, but, um, but at the end of the day, so just to be on a serious note, um, uh, you can beat them, join them. So, and uh, for me, match was Deep Blue in 96, the first one in Philadelphia, the second one in New York, and uh, a few matches that were later. That was a part of, uh, of the great scientific and cultural and social experience. Um, and I was very proud that I was part of that. So it's, you know, I, I, I don't, I didn't know, actually, I know the answer now, but I didn't know whether it was my blessing or my curse that I was a world champion at age 22, won a title in 1985, where machines were weak. I mean, just, it's, it's just a laughing stock. And that's why the book's, book begins with the story of me playing 32 computers at the same time <laughs> in Hamburg. And when I left professional chess in 2005, machines were unbeatable. Now I think it was a blessing, because again, I had a unique opportunity to be part of this experiment. And um, it helped us to understand more about both machines. Um, I'm, I would be very, very cautious in using the term artificial intelligence. Because the moment you say, yeah, you have 10 experts in the room, you may probably hear 15 different versions of what it is. Um, uh, and uh, uh, regarding Deep Blue, uh, it's, and, and my match with Deep Blue, which is, um, you know, uh, uh, by many considered the, the sort of the dawn of AI era. I mean, Deep Blue was as intelligent as your alarm clock. It's, um, which was quite ironic because um, when uh, the great pioneers of computer science, like Alan Turing or Claude Shannon, they, they thought about machine one day beating uh, top players uh, or the, the world chess champion, that would be the, the moment, so like a watershed moment. That's the, the breakthrough uh, into the world of AI. Uh, but Deep Blue, as I said, was not intelligent, was brute force. With good algorithms, you know, with big databases, of course, very fast, it, uh, it could reach uh, the phenomenal speed. Even today, it's pretty good, but in 97, it was phenomenal speed of 200 million positions per second. Um, but it was not about solving the game of chess. That's another, you know, big misconception. People believe, oh, that's the Deep Blue uh, or any powerful computer, you know, they were just uh, on the verge of solving the game of chess. Chess is unsolvable. Uh, it's mathematically infinite with number of legal moves, 10 power 45. That's, you know, it's beyond any, any computer of this universe just to, 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 to crack. But it's not about solving, it's about winning. And winning means that you have to make less mistakes than your opponents. And it's not surprising that machines ended up with a steady hand that it's impossible for humans to, to beat. Because we humans, we all you know, have weaknesses, and even the world champion, the best players in the world, they are poised to make mistakes. And um, the steady hand wins. Whether it's chess, whether it's uh, Go, now we have Alpha Go, so that's another you know, problem, which is different from Deep Blue, uh, because it's, it's about deep learning. This is kind of prototype of AI. Or even it's Dota, that's the, it's, uh, the video game, that machine recently excelled at beating top players. Anything that, uh, that is uh, as a part of the closed system, machines will do better. Machines will, will prevail. So, um, and uh, I think there were many, many good lessons from um, my, my fights with machines, my matches, because I played even more matches and I described them in the book. And uh, the idea of the book, uh, that's, that's, that's the main idea that's we really worked out, was made in the book, is, is to demystify the story. It's not about, you know, utopian or dystopian. It's a story. It's a story of, of computer science, and it's a story of human-machine relations, because that will be the most important relation for the 21st century. And I don't want people to make their judgment based on the movies like The Terminator or The Matrix. <laughs>